Hey YouTubers, watchers and all those serious about going to heaven, this video is for you, Bantu people and associates of Bantu people. That means people who are calling on the name of the father of the Bantu children of Israel. Okay, so this video is for y'all. Now, Passover is nearing. So this video is just explaining to you what you can do on Passover as per specified by the Bible, Leviticus 23. Okay, I'll pull it up now so you can read it for yourself too and actually understand that scripture never changes. No matter how much they can try to lie and whatever, scripture stays. Okay, so Passover is coming and it won't change. They can call have Easter or whatever. You have Passover. Bantu people and all those children of Israel who are following the say the, the father of the Bantu people, your responsibility is to make sure you keep whatever the bible says the, the the scripture says okay what the father sonini nanini said in the bible in the Leviticus, he said we gotta keep passover in the first month first month in bantu is april is what the pagans call april now april is just next month around the corner so you have to make sure you remember to keep that passover now remember passover and in any other, you know, high, um, weekly cycle, whatever you, you watch my other video, I'm discussing all the Passovers. Now, those are Passovers. I mean, those are Sabbaths, okay? Sabbath is not just the weekly cycles. It's weekly cycle, Passover, and living bread, moving on. Those are called Sabbath, okay? We are supposed to keep all of them. A lot of people be talking about, no, we ain't supposed to keep them because we don't have the temple no more. We have to keep them whether or not we got a temple. Okay, that's why the Savior, the Son, died so we, He can fulfill the portions that we're running short, so we can fulfill, smooth over the law completed. Okay, without Him, we we'll still have those dark holes. Then it will not be fulfilled, won't be full. He came to fulfill it, to patch up where we run short. So we still gotta keep Passover, but we run short where we gotta bring stuff to the temple and so forth. You'll see. I'm showing you what we gotta be doing. So when we run short, that's where he covers in those instances. Not because we got to take everything off. No, he covers off those instances we can't do because of the situations we're in. The last day, the, the last, um, in the last era we live in, a whole lot of things been removed by the Romans trying to make us fall by the way. But then the Savior came, helped us. Now, anyway, we, the focus in this video here is Passover. Okay, because that's the first feast that's coming up next month, April. So now here, this is what happens. April, now remember, my other video is showing all of them. Now this one is just focusing on the next one, the one that's coming up, which is Passover. So I'm going to go into a little more detail on this one because that's more relevant because it's coming. Okay. Now, Passover and unleavened bread are really close together, so that's why I showed unleavened bread. But I won't discuss unleavened bread. I'm just going to focus on Passover, okay, because that's the feast coming up, okay? Now, Leviticus 23, whole Leviticus 23 is only about these feasts, all of them, okay? So now here it starts. Now, this slide, you'll see that I took it from my other video where I'm discussing all of them. So that was slide 204 in that video, but... This one, I just took it is so y'all can relate to what you saw because a lot of people did watch the video and really liked it. So now this one is, is just specifically about Passover. Now here, Leviticus 23, in the first month, that means now April, a pagan is called April, in Bantu is called Chazimpunzi. Okay, month of May's buzzing, Chazimpunzi. That's how you say it. So in the first month, in the 14th day of the month, between evenings, is Passover to Sonini, okay? Now, them Jews can try to scramble those Nini words, and we can see that's Nini, N-I-N-I, simple, okay? We didn't know, we couldn't see it before, but the Father now, with the bunch of awakening in the world, we can actually see those are N-I-N-I words. Before, we couldn't see it. So, we've been, op our eyes been open now. So, in the first month, on the 14th day, now, 14th day, start at evening of the 13th day. So, the minute the sun goes down, now, say it's the 13th today, the minute the sun goes down, until, that's the start of the following day. You know, in Genesis, when the Father was creating, evening to evening was the start of the following day. So, now, evening is the beginning of the following day. So, on the fourth, when, he, when our Father says, on the 14th day of the month, that means the evening of the 13th. 
Okay, so it's the thirteenth. When it starts, the sun go down. That's the beginning of the fourteenth. So, on the fourteenth day, between evenings, pass over to Sanin. Right now, on the fifteenth day, now that's now going on to unleavened bread. Okay, now I will not read that part because that's unleavened bread. But I did bring it in here so you can see what we're gonna be expecting as part of the Passover. Following there, that's unleavened. Now, the fake Jews in Israel right now have this as one thing. They got a Passover, and then they got an unleavened bread as part of the Passover. And then that unleavened, they're not even doing the right things. Anyway, I won't even discuss that things. I've been part of them a whole a number of years, so I know exactly what they be doing. The Father really exposed me to all this religion because I started on with the Sunday uh, kind of churches and then went on, you know, for years and then went on to the Jewish for years. So I know all both of them, how they operate, and both of them are wrong. The closest at least is the Jews, but they are just fake. They are, you know, anyway. But so Passover, God Passover. So after Passover, God that unleavened bread who goes on for seven days. Okay, the first day is set apart, and the last day is set apart within the seven days. I'll discuss that when time is close. But I know it probably will be gone by then. I hope because in the dream that I had, I'm not trying to be prophetic or anything. I'm just show, I'm just telling what I saw. Two years ago, not even now, two years ago, I saw the, I was told in the dream that the return of the father, the return of Sonini, Savior, the return is going to be April 2017. Now, day, no hour, just that month, 20, April 2017. Okay? So now, at that time, I was still in the Jewish churches. So, um, and that is just next month. And none of my dreams, visions, or anything have not came true. So, if this don't happen, it will be the first time ever. Okay, so just be on the safe side and just you know act like this, the world's gonna end next month. Act like you're gonna be going to heaven or some people hell next month. So just try to fix up your act right now. Okay, today. So make sure you align yourself with Passovers and all the scripture stuff. Okay, that's the purpose of my videos, my channel to awaken, make channel you all to salvation. Okay. Not just being born again. Gotta be pass over to salvation. Okay. Now here's Passover. On the fifteenth day. So on the fifteenth day of the oh, that's that's unleavened bread. So on the first month, that's what you gotta do. For on the fourteenth day, that means thirteenth evening, you gotta start doing that. Okay. Now here is the detail of what we're supposed to do according to the Bible. Now on the Passover, we got we have to okay I didn't pull it up there because they have changed this scriptures Bible I was using they removed everything and put in their own words in there it's, it's so frustrating they are really changing these Bibles believe me you all you need to know the scripture now because they are changing a whole lot of things in there so I can't even pull up the scripture to show what happens in Passover take a one year lamb and this it's just so all over the place and and featuring all their uh, demonic names in there so I. I, I but anyway, you you look you look it up yourself. But I'll tell you what happens. So on the Passover, we on the tenth day, we're supposed to take a lamb, a first a year old lamb, and 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 put it as, and set it aside, you know, from the from the group, set it aside for four days, getting it ready for that fourteenth, okay, which is thirteenth evening, of course, technically. But we're supposed to, you know, take it apart. From the 10th, April the 10th, um, the, the first month, April, I'll say April, April the 10th, take it apart, take it, take it, um, set it apart. That means, you know, take it away from the group for four days. That's what the Bible says we should be doing. Okay. And, and, on, and after sunset, we prepare, we prepare that for the grill on the, on that fourth day. Okay. On that 14th day, sorry. So four days after we've taken it in. So 10th and then on 14th, we, you know, prepared for the grill. Now, the guide is if you got no farm like the rest of us, you know, you're not in an environment in a village. I mean, if you're in a village, you can get a year-old lamb. But if you don't, you just, you know, get some lamb, anything. It's just a gesture because the Savior was the lamb anyway. So it's just a gesture. Take that year old lamb, take it in there, you know, put it, set it aside for, for four days on the 10th. Okay. That's just, and that's got to be a male lamb. Okay. If you don't got to farm or anything, just get, I don't know how you're going to know now those lamb chops are male from a male, um, 
um, lamp, but it's just a guide, okay? But what you can do is treat that day as a Passover. That's the first thing that you have to do. Because, I mean, not that, that Passover day is a Sabbath. It's a Sabbath day. It is a Sabbath day. So treat it like a Sabbath day. That's something already showing that you would if you could, okay? So you would do a Passover if you could, if you had the temple, you, you are obedient. You recognize the Passover, okay? So, but we don't have a whole lot of stuff, you know, you can be trying your thing, but it's, it's just a gesture, okay? So now the Bible says that on the, on the, on the 14th, you have to now start sacrificing this, take the blood and put it on the doorpost, okay? But we, but, um, and, and use a hyssop. A hyssop plant, okay? You know, smear that blood on there. But you don't have that. So a guide to those who have lambs out there in the villages. You can take that lamb, put it in, set it aside so it, it must not sit in the um in the crawl with all the other sheep. So take it up take it in, put it maybe in one of the rooms in the village there. One of the rooms and it, it should graze there, it feed it there on itself for four days. And then after that after sunset, you got to slaughter it on the 14th, okay? Slaughter on the 14th and put some of the lamb's blood in, the, in a bowl. Don't put it on the doorpost as yet because once you put it up there, you won't be able to go in and out of that room, okay? So you're stuck in it. So don't put it up there. Just put the blood in a bowl until you're done with everything else you got to be doing, which I'm going to explain now, okay? So now we assume that it's the 14th already. I'm explaining now to the village people who got... Um, sheep and you know um, sheep and lambs and stuff so they can be able to get the lamb not talking to the city people who don't got not, like me I don't have none of that too so village people you had an advantage so you got that lamb on the 10th you put it aside for 4 days so on the four, on the 14th day which is now 4 days later on the 14th day of April you slaughter that okay the, the Bible doesn't explain how you slaughter it. I think in the villages, they already already know how to slaughter stuff. So, because they've been slaughtering. So, you slaughter that lamb and um, you, you drain the blood into a bowl. Does, it doesn't have to be a lot of blood. Just enough so you can just, you know, put some on the doorpost. You know, burn it into a, a bowl. And then, don't put it on the doorpost. Okay? Keep it there. Now, I'm reading number D. Get your hyssop plant. A hyssop plant, um, it looked like this here. Let me see if I do have a picture of a hyssop plant. Yeah, I do have it in here. But it's in the last slide, man. Okay, I don't know why I put it in the slide. But anyway, a hyssop, get a hyssop plant, okay? And and then um, that's the one you're going to, so you get everything you need to, that you're going to, because if you put that, um, if that blood is on the doorpost, you can't even go outside to be looking for no heaps of plants and anything. You gotta have everything ready in there. So all you need is the lamb. You slaughter it. Now make sure um, you 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 get that bowl, put a little bit of blood in there, and and then um, so you slaughter outside, of course. You know you don't do everything inside. You just slaughter everything, and then you bring that blood. You keep it in there in the bowl. But there got to be one room that y'all be going to be sleeping in. Okay, I know some people sleep in a different, like in a village, there'll be different houses in there, like m huts. So there'll be different huts in there. So you got to, the one that y'all going to be sleeping, pr probably just try and sleep in one for now. Okay, because you're going to have this blood on one, in one room. So you have that blood, you have that blood in the bowl, keep it in that room that y'all going to be sleeping in. Okay, and then get a hyssop plant. It's a long plant. Okay, get a hyssop plant. I, I, there's a picture there. I'll put it. So get a hyssop plant. Keep it in there too. All right. Now you got a grill. Okay, let me read it. Um, get your oh yeah, get your see hyssop plant. Let me let me pull up the next one. Now number E, you got a fire grill. Okay, you made a fire outside fire grill. That that me that that you just slaughtered now. Fire grill, same day, everything is done, same day, okay? You slaughter and grill. I know in the villages, they don't like slaughtering and grilling the same day because it causes all stomach problems. But this Passover, you got to do it this way. You probably won't have stomach problems then. But, so, you fire grill that meat, 
that same day before you smear the blood and everything. Okay, so so when you fire grill it, you gotta eat it. So it's fire grilled and you eat it. Okay, now you gotta eat it real quick. Dress up. You gotta dress up. Everybody dress up. Not like you go, dress up like you're going somewhere. Now I even put there like for city people that you gotta have those lamb chops. Eat them quickly like you're going somewhere. Got your car keys and everything like you're going somewhere. Then village people, you have a very good advantage because you got all the resources there. Got air. so you eat it real quick, okay? Eat that lamb very real quick. Now you still got that blood in the in the bowl in that room. You're gonna be sleeping in, sitting there with a the hyssop plant. So you are eating outside. You can eat inside, outside. It don't matter. But that eat that meat, just the meat you're eating. It's a grill. It's a nice grill, salt and. Put a, some spices in there, season it good, eat it, okay? So, you, you can't have wine and alcohol and beer and stuff like that. I mean, that's just sense. You, you think about it yourself. Try to avoid yeast too because we're going into live, unliving bread. Where, you know, the father said get rid of yeast. So, already try and get rid of yeast. Already. So, try avoid yeast bread and yeast stuff. So, eat that meat with probably, you know, porridge, Pop, we call it pop in the village. Eat it with pop or eat it with um, whatever you want to eat. I mean, rice and anything else. So just eat that meat. It's fire grilled. You eat it. Okay. So when you're done eating it, so don't cook it, cook it in, the, in those round black pots that you all use outside in the villages. Don't use a fire grill. So get make fire. Okay. Grill it with fire. Right. So, but that fire must not be flame to burn it. That must be like you're doing a barbecue, okay? You call it braai, like you're doing a braai, right? But now in the cities, you grill it. You got a fire grill out there. Don't use the gas grill. Use the um the fire grill, okay? The cold one, okay? Preferably uh, the wooden one, like like where you don't use the coal, the charcoal. Use the wood, okay? So we grill that meat over there. Get a nice little barbecue going on in the backyard. So... So when you have, when you've done that, you ate, you're all full and everything. That's before sunset. Remember now, everything got to be done before the sun goes down. Because once the sun goes down, that's the end of Passover. It's the beginning of the following day. So you got to do everything before. Okay. Got to do all of these things before the sun goes down. I can never overemphasize that. Okay. All right. So... Okay, now, but remember, you you have you slaughtered your um you slaughtered your um your Passover lamb just as the Passover day start. So you got a whole lot of times to prepare within the 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 fifteenth within that day of the Passover. Okay, so you still got so y'all eating and everything. Then when y'all are ready, finished, ready to sleep, that's when you go, all of y'all prepare to sleep in this one room. Now, that's the village now, in this one room. Now, in a city, it's anyway one house. So, y'all gonna go into your own bedroom and stuff, but it's still the same building. Okay? So, reach out for that bowl, which had the, the, the blood in it. And that hyssop plant, okay? One person can do it. The Bible doesn't specify it gotta be a teen or adult or elder. Any person who can, who can reach out there and do it proper, the proper job. So now, talking to the village people, all of y'all are in that one room now. I would prefer that you choose a room that got one door. Because I know some some of the huts, it won't be a hut. They call it a flat. It will be a flat that has two rooms. So try, avoid sleeping in that flat because you don't want to be, you know, grappling with two doors. Try and find a hut, even a round one. Just one that had, that got one door on it. Okay. The one you call Imukwala. So find that one. Got one door. A flat will have two doors and you don't want to be stuck in two doors. So in the city, you got one house anyway. So, but now that house got two doors. So, um, you just lock the other door because there will always be a back door and a front door. So lock the other door. Nobody must exit that door or touch it or anything. Then just focus on the one door. Okay. Prefer the front door, the one that you always be using all the time. So that's the one. So you reach out for the bowl with the blood, get the hyssop plant. So smear, 
Now, here's the smearing part. You want to go into the detail. Oh, 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 before I go into the smearing part, make sure. Ain't no leftovers, okay? Whatever you ate, no leftovers, okay? Do not put anything in the trash cans either, okay? No garbage can, no trash can, no bean, nothing. No storage in the refrigerator. Don't do anything. No leftovers, okay? Village people, same thing. No leftovers. Don't even, even throw things to dogs. Say, no, this is leftovers. I'm going to throw it to the dogs and stuff. I'm going to keep. No, don't do anything. Just whatever you did not eat as a Passover, burn it. You have to burn it. Burn it, burn. That's what the Bible saying. Got to burn it, chocolate, until it's, it's like burn, burn down. Whatever you did not eat now. That goes for the rice and everything else. Okay, no leftovers. I know the Bible doesn't specify. It just says all the Passover. Must not be left over, okay? Fire grill, whatever is left behind. Now, I, I assume probably even whatever else you were eating during the Passover feast, you cannot le leave it over. Just be on the safe side. Maybe the Father is going to explain somewhere because the Bible doesn't say anything about other stuff that you eat with the Passover. So I assume that everything that's involved must not be left over, kept, or anything else like that, okay? So now I would also play safe by. Not um, not giving the dogs anything else like that, uh, the Passover. Because I know the dogs will be hovering around because in the village, I'm talking about village now, the dogs will be hovering around trying to find feed, food, um, uh, meat and everything else like that. I, I think the Bible doesn't say it, but to be on the safe side, just don't give the dogs anything that Passover. Because the, the Passover is, is important, it's precious, I think. Okay, so now don't give... The dogs that, okay? The dogs should eat something else. You may prepare something else for the dog. But whatever you're eating as Passover must be just for the people, human beings in there, okay? Now, the city people without dogs hovering around. City people, no leftovers, no garbage, anything, okay? Garbage must not have food left over from the, left, from the Passover, okay? So just burn it, grill it, all of it. Burn it down, okay? Now, here's another thing you all must know that... The Passover must be treated as a Sabbath day. Okay? Now, here, on Sabbath day, you make no fire at all in your premises. You're not allowed to make fire in your premises. Now, we're shooting ourselves in the foot when we do this fire grill. Now, that's where I'm like, okay, you do your own judgment now. Because we should only do the fire in the temple for Passover. Nowhere else. Only in the temple. So this lamb, if we had a temple, we were supposed to take this lamb, bring it to the temple where the Levite priest is. The Levite priest was going to do the burning and, and grilling of this lamb. Okay? But we don't have that in there. Okay? We don't have a temple for Passover. Now, we come back because that's why even the Savior went into Jerusalem for the Passover, if you remember. He didn't, they didn't do it in the premises. They had to go all the way to Jerusalem where the temple was. But now... I mean, back to the situation we at. In those days in Egypt, the, the children of Israel did the Passover in their premises. They grilled, they chopped, they got the lamb, you know, in their own premises. So now, probably the situation in the in the Egypt, because now they were in tent and they were, you know, traveling in tents. There was no chance of building a temple or anything like that. Yes, there was a temporal temple that the father was at, but that was probably not enough equipment to have that brazen altar where they're gonna, the priest is going to be burning things and everything else. It was just a temp of meeting where they did the meetings with the father. So that's all probably that there was no hold of holies and all those fancy stuff in there. But the father still allowed them because of that situation. He did allow them to, to, to get the, when they were still in Egypt now. I'm talking now, mixing two. When they were still in Egypt, the father said, did say they have to cut, they must do the Passover and do the, all these grilling things that he explained what we should be doing in Passover. They, he did allow them to do them in their own houses in, in Egypt. Now in Egypt, they were not in tents either, but anyway, they were allowed, the father allowed them to do it in their own and then get the blood. You know? So now, on that basis, that's why I developed this, that probably the father understands that we are in these lands. I call them Egypt or Babylon, United States and stuff. So we are in these lands now. There ain't no temple. Even if you're in Africa, there's no temple either. Nowhere. So then 
we we going back to now well in Egypt that's what they did the children of Israel did it in their own premises in Egypt Passover so we're doing it in our own premises here okay so on that basis then we assume hopefully the father will understand we look at it in that way that we don't have the temple we don't have a Jerusalem to go to like the Savior did so now okay now coming back to now you got that bowl in your house so get the hyssop plant Put it on the doorpost. Now remember, the Bible says, we follow the Bible word for word. Now I'm not talking about what they teach you in church. What the Bible says, take some of the lamb blood, smear it on with the hyssop. Got to be a hyssop plant. On the doorpost and on the lintel. Lintel is, is that thing that you lock the door. Now let's talk to the village people. The, the door is locked by a wooden thing. You know, when you get inside, you close the door. There's that, there's that, there's that wooden thing that you put on the door so the both, the door don't open. That's called the lintel. That you have to, um, you have to put the blood on it. Okay. It's called the lintel. So you put the blood on that lintel. You put the blood on the door post as you see the pictures there. Okay. I know in, in other studies, they just say, no, put the blood on the doorpost. No, got to put on the lintel as well. Cause now this Passover is given in the village. In the village, there's a lintel. I know it cause I've been staying in village for years. I know what I'm talking about. So this, this lintel is that wooden thing that goes on and off. When you want to open the door, that lintel is usually thrown behind the door. Okay, in the hut, now the round house in the hut. In the flat, which is now the one that got two doors, they don't usually use lintels. They just lock, you know, it's a, it's a little fancier. But in the hut, there's that lintel thing going on in there. So you put it, you put it around with a hiss of plant. And that's it. So y'all are inside. You cannot put that when somebody's still going to walk inside or somebody's not in. Everybody got inside the house first, village people. Un inside the house first. All the fire gone, everything extinguished outside. So y'all ready to sleep. Then you put that blood on there and close that door and that's it. You can't go out that door again on, until Passover is over. Okay. So now talking to the, um, now you got to do all of this before the sun goes down. Okay. So that means on Passover day, you got to sleep before the sun goes down. Okay. Oh, I mean, even if you don't sleep, let me not say sleep. Let me now. Bef so everybody gotta go inside, okay? On the Passover, put that put that blood on there, okay? And stay in the house until the Passover is gone, is is over. So until the following day, okay? So if you smear that blood before the sun goes down, you are stuck in the house until the sun goes down, okay? So it will be best if you put that blood on there uh, just before the sun goes down. So you just stuck for a few hours and then maybe one hour and then you can still go out. Okay. That's just a, a you know, a suggestion from me. Okay. Because the trick, the, the technicality is you cannot go out that door as soon as that blood is there. And the Bible don't specify when you can put that blood. It just says on Passover day, you put that blood over there, stay in the house, go to bed or whatever. Okay. If you don't go to bed, but after sunset, that's the beginning of the following day. It's unleavened bread already. So it's not Passover anymore. So you can go in and out or whatever. Okay. So now that is all you do on Passover. Okay. So everybody get ready. To get, so now the city people, same thing, that bowl with the blood. So I don't know how you're going to squeeze the blood from those lamb chops or anything, but try to do what you can. If you can, you can, you know, it's just a gesture. Okay, but make sure the one thing you treat that day as a Sabbath day. It is a Sabbath day. Treat the Sabbath, so don't do no work. You know what you do on Sabbath day. Okay, I hope you already know Sabbath day, what you do on Sabbath day. Because that's one of the appointed times. The father on Leviticus 23, he said, Moses, these are my appointed times. Tell children of Israel, these are my appointed times. They got to keep them. Okay, so... So that's what I'm talking about here when I say appointed times, okay? Passover, done. So get ready for it. Don't be fooled by all these pagans talking about it's going to be Easter, egg, Easter egg hunt, Easter this and rabbits and all this. Don't be fooled by it. They don't follow the crowd. Just do what the Bible tells you to do. You have to follow. Because now here is another secret I'm letting you. I, I, the Savior is about to return. And the probation has been closed. I got a, a, another dream. Probation is closed. Focus. Here, here's a message in the dream I had two days ago. It says, probation is closed. 
Focus on the Bantu people. Probation is cool. Because I was trying, Father, please. No, no, I was trying to pray. The message in the dream said, don't waste your time on anybody else now. Focus on the Bantu people because probation has been closed. Now, I know probation is, to, you know, get it, none Bantu people or none children of Israel in and stuff. So it says probation has been closed. Okay? Closed completely. So Bantu people, you are now set with an advantage. So that's all I want to say. Passover is nearing. So get ready for it. Okay? Bye.